Hello, everybody, and welcome to the highlights of the final T20 international between Afghanistan and Ireland, coming to you from the Shahzad Cricket Stadium. Now, just to remind you, it is one all in this series, and of course, this is such an important game, this one. And both teams are going to want to fire up and make sure they hit the ground running because the power play is going to be very important. Just to let you know that Afghanistan won the toss and they have elected to bat first. Let's have a look at the teams as we uh, go any further through this. We'll uh, look at the senior players. They're the guys that we need to really kick in. Rashid Khan is uh, obviously going to be a, a very important player for Afghanistan. Ahmed Nabi as well as he was in the game too. Gabaz needs some runs. And Karote has done a fine job in his debut series. And for Ireland, Paul Sterling as the captain needs to lead by example. Harry Tech missed out got a first ball actually in the second game Mark Adair has been good and Josh Little has showed some very good skill right on let's pick up the action and join our commentators let's go straight away Gerbas underway Tino and Devendra alongside me good evening to you both gentlemen Just over the head of the man at deep backward point. Gareth Delaney was down there. It's gone all the way for six. Out. What a good catch. Tekta, he's like a magnet for the ball in the field. And it's another failure for Gerbaz. Wasn't off the middle of the bat. He tried to be extravagant, did Ramanullah Gerbaz. And it was his undoing. I think the option was right. He's trying to go up and over the bowler. Gave himself a bit of room. Gave himself a bit too much room, actually. In the end, the ball coming off the toe end of the bat. You don't want to give Harry Tector an opportunity to take a catch. Ramanilla Gerbas goes, but only after some afters with the island team a little bit of a chat between uh, all and sundry there but he's on his way back to the pavilion now out for six afghanistan 14 for one that's four ibrahim zadram off the mark straight away third man up in the circle that's nicely picked up a fine shot first ball of the over and that's gone for six first ball of his spell now that's gone high should be taken it's gone a long way up oh he misjudged that and he's put it down Delaney put it down have a look here last minute lunges forward to try and catch it right now he realized I'm in the wrong position puts down a routine chance this one's been connected and connected nicely. That's maximum Ibrahim Zadran. Yeah. Oh, he just hit it straight back to the bowler. That really is a soft dismissal, and he knows it as well. That look is telling a story. Well, that'll give a lot of comfort to Delaney off his own bowling. That was a good lead. Sadiq Khatal is not able to read it nicely and just pouches a very easy return catch. You will tell he's just given away his wicket. Sadiq Khatal looked nice, looked good until 19 that he made. But catch and ball, Delaney, that's good. 45 for 2 for Afghanistan. Now that's gone high. This will be a very fine catch if it's taken. Got two hands to it, I think. Couldn't quite grab it. So another chance, it would have been a brilliant catch had it been uh, snaffled, but it's gone down. That's again in the air, but that'll fall into the hand safely. Josh Little takes the catch. So that doesn't cost him a lot. Excellent from Camper, he's just hammering a length. And Omazai trying to hit his way out of a lack of form. This is a very good catch, Josh Little. Commands the area, dominates the ball, pouches safely. Game is heating up nicely. Omazai goes for three, 48 for three. Starts with a real drag down, and Curtis Camper can't cut it off. It's just skidded off the surface in the deep. Well, 
down the ground. One bounce for four. It was an orthodox from Ishak, but very effective. Might be out. Has been taken, but it's a no ball. He's overstepped. He didn't realise he might be run out, though. Has to get back in his crease. He didn't get back in his crease. He could have been run out, perhaps. I think get back to game one. Think back to game one. Now, where was the first con? That to me is not a no ball. Deja vu, perhaps. Six freebie hasn't been put away. Might have been another situation where it wasn't a no ball and I was caught. That's over the top. Strong. Beautifully picked up for four. that as well that's gone for four this time it's Adran who's hit that for a boundary oh that's gone straight up this should be taken Sterling will be a good catch that's a blinder that is a terrific catch from the captain nicely done Paul Sterling again it's at the back of hand on Ben White high not the first time tonight high into the Dark, charge and nice guy, Sterling. Didn't have much ground to make. Kept his composure nicely. Protected the elbows. A good hand. Impressive innings. Gone for 27. 102 for four. That's going to be 50. It's a sixth T20 out of 50. He brings the drum. They needed somebody that wasn't Rashid Khan, Mohamed Dabi, or Karote to stand up. And it's been Ibrahim Zidran to do it. His first T20 I-50 versus Ireland. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Balberni. He got this. Thought this was going down the leg side. So played this nicely straight into the hands of Balberni. What a beautiful catch. We've seen two beautiful catches from the two openers of Ireland. Muhammad Nabi departs making six runs. Afghanistan 116 for five. Market there greeted with a flat bat to break that streak of a lack of boundaries. All the way for six. What a strike from Zidran. Ramtre in the corner. Brilliant clarity of thoughts and vision from Ibrahim Zidran. Man at long. Oh, and over his head. Harry Tector thought he was in the game for a moment. I don't think this is out of the middle. Man out at cow corner. Holds on. And for once, not just Mohamed Nabi. But Rashid Khan, they both fell with the bats and Ireland are staying alive in this contest. Still scrapping, still fighting. Yeah, I think Ireland has done a brilliant job to have got constant breakthrough. A slower ball off cutter doing the trick for McCarthy. Rashid Khan not able to clear the field there. Comfort takes it comfortably. Rashid Khan, the hero the other night, cannot do much today. Three for him. Afghanistan 142 for six. Well, what a stroke this is. Not out of the middle of the bat, but should get a couple. In fact, he'll get four as Josh Little's just made a bit of a meal of that. Got a long way up. And I think a long way back to Ahmed Zai. Well, we saw him shadow batting, didn't we, while Ibrahim was changing his gloves, trying again and again and again. From this one, you practice what you preach, a maximum. <laughs> Will scamper a bye, so it's going to be 155 on the total. Ireland to win this series. They'll need to chase 156 to win it. Well, that's a really, really well put together innings. He's a little bit disappointed, Ibrahim, at the end, not to get a couple more over the ropes. But that's a top class innings, a top class performance by all the Afghanistan batters. 
mustering the highest total of the series, 155. Rashid Khan winning the toss. A couple of hours ago, absolutely no hesitation. We want runs on the board and plenty of them. And then let our spinners get into this Irish batting lineup who have struggled all series. Afghanistan, a man in blue, superb. Ibrahim Zadran once again showing all his class for a 72 not out from 51 balls. Take a historic first ever away series victory against Afghanistan. Ireland are going to need 156 to win. Not going anywhere too far. That's gone across him. And he's got it nice and fine. He's got a boundary first up. He won't mind that it was the outside court of the bat. Did come back a little bit, but it's beautifully driven. That's a lovely shot through the covers for four. Good stuff from Bob Burney. Two boundaries already. He's got him. He's bowled him. What a ball that is. He's just taken the leg bail. That is magnificent stuff. Terrific delivery from the middle at first up. The angle, ability to bring the ball back into the right investment. That was a great delivery. We understand the value of early wicket with the possibility of due later in this innings. It was important that the fast bowler strikes early. Naveen Ulak with a beautiful delivery coming back into the right hand batsman. That ball came long way back into the right hand batter and taking the bail off over the top of the leg stump. And Little Bernie goes for nine. Nine for one. Oh, he's got another one. First ball, Tucker. He's on his way. Brilliant from Naveen Ulak. Lovely scene presentation ball coming in, trying to hook it through the onside. And Bills flying. Wickets tumbling down. Tucker goes for not. Nine for two. Two in two for Naveen. Got him. It's off the pad. Off the pad, onto the timber. Three down now, and that is a massive wicket. Fantastic from Fazilat Faruqi. Pitching up, getting the ball to swing off the pad. Deflection, Bales flying here again. And Fazilat Faruqi strikes for Afghanistan. Wickets tumbling, Ireland are in dire straits. Three for 15. Nice solid shot down the ground, full face the bat. Four runs, that's how he should be playing. Chopped away, good shot, back with a square on the offside. Nicely played for four. Still hope here for Ireland, plenty of depth to their batting. With a lovely sound off the bat, that. And Ramanilla Gurbas at third man, can't get around. Out towards deep square leg from Tector, another boundary. Welcomes Omazai into the attack by hitting him for four. Pull away in the air, there's a man in the deep. Omazai into the attack, and who else? Naveen, brilliant with the ball, now in the deep. Harry Tector, plinks one. Him looking for some confidence going into the IBL, and what a wicket to your name. Harry Tector, the man that could have saved Ireland, for sure you would skill and talent that he has couldn't do it today. 16 for him, Ireland of 39 for four. Chip that away, could be out, should be out, is out. He's got another one. And the same guy's taking the catch. Pitching up, trying to flick it to the onside, toe ending it. And a fine catch taken by Naveen Ulak. Inches above the ground. George Dockwell goes for three, 46 for five. Little paddle, nice and fine. He's got that away for four. That's a good shot. Good shot. Pick that up. He's hit that a long way, and I think that's gone for six. First ball, the over. That is a fine shot. That's long and it's straight and it's powerful. Fourth. 
right of the bat. Such a good shot. Strong down the ground. Oh, that's right out of the middle of the bat. That made such a sweet sound. Four more. The shout is catch it, and Gerbaus does exactly that, but long off. Camper goes, a bright and breezy contribution from him, but it comes to an end, and Karote, having been savaged in that over, bounces back nicely. I'll the sixth end. Well, that's what we were talking about. We just talked about the fact that there's a lot of cricket left. Play till the end, don't give away your wicket. Camper this time trying to go for yet another big hit into the safest hands of Rahmanullah Gurbas. Not his comfort, 28 runs for him. Islander 82 for 6. Both! The day goes, and Omazai's day continues to get better and better. Island 7 down. Yeah, it's just been his day with the ball, isn't it? Marker Day tries to clear the boundary rope, gets, uh, gets an edge back onto the wicket. Omar Zai gets his third for the night. Ireland lose their seventh, 91 on the board. Oh, got him! That's a very, very good catch. Asmatullah Omar Zai, things are just turning out so nicely for him. The Afghan fans are just loving it. This is the fourth uh, for Asmatullah Omar Zai. Appreciated by the teammates. That is absolutely his best figure. It's four for nine for now. And he's got a one more delivery to bowl. So I think he was expecting this to come back a lot quicker than it did. It's come off the splice of the bat. His hands are there and waiting and waiting and waiting. The ball eventually gets there. He has a chuckle to himself. Barry McCarthy doesn't. And Ireland, 93 for 8. Proceed now. Dragging that on the onside. Might be another catch. It is not a catch. That's a blinder. That is an absolute beauty. What a fine grab that is. They are doing so well now, Afghanistan. They are picking up catches left, right and centre. The man who scored the runs has taken that catch. Ebram Zadran. Fine grab. Yeah, that's a really, really good catch. For many reasons. Makes the ground. Tracks the ball. It's there to hit. Gareth Delaney fancies it. He makes the ground quickly. It's a really good catch. It's a really good catch. He nearly overran it. Delaney, who promised a little, gone for 21. Nine down, 93 on the board. stands they are so happy the players will be so happy as well it is all done here Afghanistan have won by 57 runs what a victory in the decider they'll be so pleased about this they went down in the test match they won the one days and they've now won the T20 internationals good result for Afghanistan yeah brilliant winning by 57 runs in the T20 match that's an absolute thrashing truth be told outstanding bowling performance to back up a really well manufactured batting display from Afghanistan that is as close to a perfect 40 overs as you'll put in in a T20 game Rashid Khan winning the toss get runs on the board and the Seamers tonight have been outstanding for the men in blue So what a game that was. It was the decider, Afghanistan, 155 for seven off their 20 overs. Ibrahim was terrific with 72 off 51. Mishak was the next high score. Nice partnership, by the way, between those two guys. Delaney, one for five. Camp. In fact, all those which were shared by Ireland. And Ireland in reply. Well, they didn't get close. All out for 98. Not even 18 overs, unfortunately, for them. Camphor was the top score with 28. Amazai was out of the match, so well done to one. <laughs>
time for the post series presentation here for the final Afghanistan versus Ireland T20I match 2024. We've seen a truly fantastic and such a memorable series between these two great old rivals, with the host Afghanistan completing the turnaround in the T20I series to take a win by 57 runs and indeed the series 2 1. Firstly, please allow me to introduce you to my presentation party. Starting next to me, to my left, the legendary former all round cricketer for Afghanistan, now the chairman of the Afghanistan Cricket Board, Mr. Mirwez Ashraf. Next to him is Mr. Nasi Khan, who is the chief executive officer of the Afghanistan Cricket Board. Mr. Abdullah Ge Geber, the chief commercial officer for Etisalat Afghanistan, is next to Mr. Matthew Wilshire, the chairman of Etisalat Afghanistan, who signed that extended partnership with the Afghanistan Cricket Board. Next to Matthew is Mr. Willems Cherub Paramaville, the VAS manager for Eden Red. And then we've got Abhishek Ja, the board member for Hedge and Sachs. And then Mr. Abdul Rahman Fida, the Afghan General Council Dubai. Gentlemen, you're all very welcome and thank you so much all for your support. Great to have you alongside me. So before we get into things, just a final huge thanks to our sponsors. Indeed, Eti Salat, who signed that extended deal. Also Super Cola, Bank Mili Afghan and Hedge Sachs for their valuable contribution and support. And for all the fans who attended tonight, thank you so much for being here to see that fantastic Afghanistan victory. Okay, we've got plenty of awards to give out and indeed we'll hear from both captains find out who the player of the match is or the player of the series is. We're going to start with the stylish player of the match who's going to receive a check for 25,000 Afghani that will be presented by Mr. Abdul Rahman Fida, the Afghan General Council. And it goes to a man who produced his career best bowling figures of four for nine tonight. The winner of the stylish player of the match is Asmatullah Ormistai. So he's going to receive his check for 25,000 Afghani wonderful bounce back spell from the all-rounder and we wish you well going out to the IPL Asmatullah. Our second award is going to be for the biggest six hitter of the night. That'll be presented by Mr. Abhishek Ja, a board member of Hedge and Sachs and they're going to receive a check for 40,000 Afghan. It goes to the highest scorer of the series today. He made a marvellous 72 with three sixes. It goes to Ibrahim Zadran. So Ibrahim will receive his check. 40,000 Afghani and pose for a celebratory photo as well and now our next award is for the player of the match and there were special mentions today for Asmatullah Ormasai and Naveen ul -Haq, who was outstanding with the new ball for Afghanistan but again this one is going to be presented firstly a check for 50,000 Afghani by Mr. Williams Chair of Paramelabil the VAS manager for Eden Red and then they're going to receive the player of the match trophy to be presented by Mr. Mirez Ashraf, the chairman of the ACC. And it goes again for that innings of 72 of 51 to Ibrahim Zadran. So firstly, he's going to receive his check for 50,000 Afghanis. And then rather fittingly, he's going to receive his trophy next from Mirwez Ashraf, he's going to bring the check with him. Now, Ibrahim, we're going to have a short interview with you as well. Ibrahim, if you can come up and join me, that'd be great. Ibrahim, many congratulations. A wonderful performance. You must be delighted with your innings of 72. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah, I'm very happy with my performance today. So I didn't play well in the last two games, but I contributed in this in, in today's game. Tell me about how good it feels to turn around the series and beat a very good Ireland side who played some great cricket themselves. Yeah, Ireland, they played a good game in the first uh, first game of the series. Uh, they won some us, then we come back stronger. We won the second and third game. So, uh, from my side, especially, I wanted to play well in the last two games, but uh, it didn't uh, go, uh, you know, go on, uh, on my way, so that's why I contributed today, and I wanted to play well in the game. You're one of the few players in this Afghanistan team in all three formats, Test Match, ODI, and T20I. Is that something you really enjoy, playing all the different paces? Yeah, it's quite tough uh, to play all three formats, but I'm trying to adjust myself to each format as, as soon as I can, so as quickly as I can. 
but uh, I'm trying to enjoy it, so that's why uh, if I play test cricket, ODI, T20, so my aim is in my, uh, I try to enjoy it and I try to adjust myself very quickly to each, each and every format. Finally, just a quick word about that T20 World Cup that's going to come up. How much are you and indeed your Afghan teammates looking forward to that World Cup out in the Caribbean? Uh, we don't have any series before the World Cup. We played uh, uh, three, four series before that. So we will try to uh, get prepared for that. And uh, we will uh, try to think that where should we improve. Uh, we already covered some things, you know, that area we covered that uh, we needed before the World Cup. But uh, as a cricketer, uh, as a player, uh, I will work hard for the World Cup, uh, that, uh, which expects for me uh, a lot. So everyone uh, will try to have a good uh, World Cup in Europe. Many congratulations to Player of the Match today. You played brilliantly. Thank you so much. Okay, Ibrahim Zidram, what a performance from him. Sensational, the highest score, individual score of the series. We're going to call next upon Ireland's captain. We'll speak to Paul Sterling. Sterling commiserations, it was a series that gripped us from start to finish, but really just that sixth and final innings ended up being the telling factor. You, you couldn't get that chase of 156 done. Yeah, we were slightly off pace tonight, uh, beaten by the better side. Uh, slightly disappointing way to end the series, but I'm really proud of some of the performance that we put in. A couple of real magical spells from the bowlers up top, and Ben White to come back from injury and pick up those wickets in the first game. Uh, and a couple of other performances that will stand in good stead going forward. Did you feel that that 155 was just maybe 15 too many? Obviously, you're, you're really going after it. You're up against it. Difficult to chase under lights here. I think it probably shows how good a knock that was from Zadran. It's hard to bowl an in batsman here uh, towards the back end, and he was in certainly mid of play in those death overs at the end. Certainly 150 suggests here that it's probably a few too many. But uh, again, that's stuff that we've got to work on over the next 10 weeks before we brief the USA. I think it's going to be seven official T20Is before that T20 World Cup. The batting order in particular, is that something you might consider having a look at? You've so many different options and a good bit of depth. I think we're getting to that stage where we're probably picking our best side most of the games and a little bit of consistency as well. Uh, you've got to pick your players and back them and I think that's what we're going to do over the next couple of months and we'll reassess as always after that. Your reflections on the tour as a whole, obviously disappointment losing both white ball series, but that historic first test match victory is going to live long in the memory for everyone involved in Irish cricket. Yeah, 100%. Look, that test match is special. The tour as a whole has been brilliant. We love coming here to the UAE and playing against Afghanistan. They always seem to be great series. Uh, and we look forward to the next one. Sterling, I want to wish you, your side, all the backroom staff, everyone involved, the very best for the T20 World Cup. You've been brilliant to us here. And we've really enjoyed watching you play. Appreciate it. Thank you. Paul Sterling, the captain of Ireland. Okay. Time for the big award. It's the Player of the Series Award. And we're going to give some special mentions once I tell you what they're going to win. It will be presented, the winner, with a cheque for 75,000 Afghani. That will be presented by Mr. Matthew Wilshire, the chairman of Eti Salat Afghanistan. They'll also receive a trophy for the Player of the Series, presented by Mr. Nasid Khan, the CEO of the ACB. And it was in the commentary box. There was plenty of discussion around this one, and there were special mentions for Ireland, Josh Little, Gareth Delaney, Ben White, and Barry McCarthy, and for Afghanistan, Mohammed Nabi, and the youngster on his debut series in T20I cricket, Angelia Karote, were brilliant. But it goes to the man who coupled his 33 runs as the bat with being the leading wicket taker in the series. He took eight wickets, an economy rate of just 3.75, and an average of 5.62. It goes to Afghanistan's hero, their captain, Rashid Khan. He's going to receive his cheque for 75,000 Afghan and also now the trophy for the player of the series. I'm going to call upon him for an interview as well. He's going to speak to my co-commentator in just a moment after one more ceremonial photo. Big round of applause once more for the player of the series, Rashid Khan. He'll speak now to Ahmed Fadai. Well, Rashid Khan. What a comeback to the international stage. Congratulations with the performance of the player of the series. Three wickets in the first game, four to follow, and then one today, only giving away 12 runs, knowing that they were chasing 156. 
what a turnaround this has been. What a wonderful return to the international stage this has been for you. You win the series and you've trusted the youth that has come along. How has this been for you? Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I think uh, so happy to be uh, on a winning side, winning the series. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, a bit uh, tough for me to come back after three, four months and uh, perform a game as, as I was doing. But it uh, was a kind of fresh start for me. I just tried my best to enjoy my cricket. And uh, yeah, it is a great win series win for us, especially the youngster. You know, they came up. They, did, uh, they they observed that pressure inside and uh, they delivered as well, you know, wherever they got the opportunity, they delivered their performance, and especially uh, the senior players like Nabi, Ibrahim, uh, Altmat, Naveen, they stood up and they performed for the team, so so happy for them. Well, you talked about enjoyment, I believe everyone has enjoyed, especially the way you have performed and the entire team. You brought along the youth, the young players, Nangyalai Kharota, if you name one among the others. It's really important that as a captain you back them. How do you see the future of the Afghanistan cricket into the hands of the young lads like Rangyalai Kharota and the others? Well, cricket is all about the enjoyment. You know, I think the more you enjoy, the better your performance inside. And uh, that's how you have to give the kind of uh, free hand to all the young. So just go there, express your talent, express your skills. And uh, skills which brought you here, you just need to bring that skills in the middle as well. And especially Siddiq, Ijaz, Ishaq, and Nangyal, the way, you know, they, they came under pressure, they performed there. I think, I think I'm so happy and in the future is very bright of Afghanistan cricket. Youngsters coming, are very talented youngsters coming and uh, the more they get the opportunity on this stage to, to, to play, I think the better they will become in future. Well, you talked about the future and we're just going to see the Afghanistan team playing in the T20 World Cup. How do you see the preparations going into the T20 World Cup for Afghanistan? It's been great so far. Uh, I think we, we planned that from the last one and a half, two years since I became the captain and I think uh, that was the only uh, big event had in the mind that we had to perform in that World Cup and I think the pressure, preparation has been great so far. We have done all the homework and now it's I think uh, just two months uh, where we need to be well prepared and cover those areas we, where we are struggling and to go to the World Cup with fully prepared and uh, yeah, mentally and, and physically both. Well, I think it was brilliant to see Ibrahim Zazan perform with the bat. It was equally important to see the Pacers performing, Naveen ul -Haq, the man of the show, and then later on, Asmatullah Omar Zai. It was the brilliance of the leadership knowing that there was swing on the wicket, and that's why you gave four overs to Asmatullah Omar Zai that paid off. So really, kudos to you. Wonderful tournament. Congratulations for being the player of the series. Okay, and now the next ask task I would give you, Rashid, please. I'll, I'll take that for you. There you go. If you could go and join, please, Mr. Mirez Ashraf, the chairman of the ACB, and Mr. Abdullah Gaber, the chief commercial officer of Etisalat Afghanistan, to be presented with this series trophy. The 2-1 winners, please give a big round of applause to Afghanistan. And after a few ceremonial photos... And Rashid, the final act I would ask you to do is go and join your team. Over with the champions board, Rashid. We'll just ask you to go and join your team. The champions again, many congratulations to Rashid Khan and Afghanistan, the 2-1.